Uh, but we start with some exciting breaking news this morning from the campaign trail. We are bringing you a News Nation exclusive right here on Morning in America. We are now joined by the host of On Balance, Leland Vitter, with a big announcement. Uh, Leland, good morning to you. We did not want to steal your thunder. Uh, what are you announcing right here on MIA? All right, well, here we go. Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, a week from tonight, News Nation is hosting a town hall with former Vice President Mike Pence. This will be his first major primetime television news moment since the debate when it was a very different Mike Pence than any of us had ever seen before. He came out swinging, uh, made a case for why he felt as though his experience uh, gave him certain qualifications to be in the White House and also made the point uh, that he needs to be judged as his own man versus as the vice president to Donald Trump. He says often, uh, I am I am well known but not known well by the Republican electorate. Uh, so we're going to have a live studio audience in Chicago. I'll be with you guys next week. Um, and then we're also going to have an audience in Iowa, uh, which is really the make or break moment for Mike Pence. He's a Christian evangelical. Evangelical vote in Iowa is really important. So we'll have an audience in Iowa to be asking him questions. Yeah, uh, a big deal to have another town hall. A uh, big deal for the network, also for you. Congratulations to you, Leland. Uh, you talked most recently, we're playing this Iowa State Fair video uh, on the screen. You talked with the former vice president at the fair. What can viewers expect from next week's town hall? I know you talked about uh, seeing a very different side and version of the former VP. He was very aggressive in the debate, uh, certainly a different Mike Pence than we had known him as vice president. I'd covered him before he was vice president. Um, and, and it was a little bit more of the fire and brimstone Mike Pence um, out on the debate stage. Uh, it's kind of the guy we saw who was in the Freedom Caucus uh, back uh, in the in the mid 2010s, early 2010s. So different Mike Pence. We're going to talk about that. And he's in an unusual spot, right? Because Trump supporters uh, don't really trust him and don't like him. They think he he betrayed them and betrayed Donald Trump on January 6th. And then sort of your traditional conservative Republicans that would be Mike Pence's base uh, from, from just an issue standpoint, they don't really trust him either because he was Donald Trump's vice president. Mm -hmm. So um, he's got an interesting lane. He's one of the, uh, the only two Republicans right now who are upside down among Republicans in favorability ratings, uh, the other being Chris Christie. So we're going to try to ask him, how, how is he going to take the next four or five months uh, to convince voters, and obviously the voters in the town hall will be asking these questions, uh, about, uh, about why he is able to, um, maybe not win a general election, but how he's going to be able to win this primary. And speaking of favorability and uh, what voters and Republicans think of him, that Wall Street Journal poll over the weekend had Pence with just 2% support among likely Republican voters. It took him a while to even qualify to get on that debate stage in Milwaukee. With that being said, what do you think are his motivations for staying in the race at this point? And, and what will he need to say both in the town hall and in the next year to get more voters on his side? All right, so he's got a big speech today in New Hampshire, and he's trying to make this case that uh, he is able to bring the successes of the Trump-Pence administration, right, um, and the things that people liked about it uh, in terms of the economics, in terms of the national security, and bring that to a more sane way of governing, right? Uh, this is MAGA without the crazy and with a guy who he would argue uh, put the Constitution above uh, his own uh, personal interests. And uh, fair fair people can agree with that. That's sort of one of the last real profiles and courage we've had uh, in the past 20 or 25 years in America was Mike Pence on January 6th. So you, you, he is going to make that case that he is the, the person able to do that. Uh, the question is, where is the Republican Party right now? You got to get through the primary. Uh, Mike Pence is trying to to sort of paint himself as as the old statesman um, who is a steady hand, a, a proven and trusted hand uh, who, who will bring a sense of normalcy back to uh, the White House. Um, whether or not the voters want that or not and are ready for that, um, mm -hmm. the man the man not only has to meet the moment, but the moment has to be right for the man. Yeah, well, um, nobody better to helm this town hall than you, sir. Congratulations once again. And Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.